We walk the path our ancestors walked. I close my eyes and smell the sage and sweet grass under our feet. I hear faint sounds of blissful grunts and chewing as a hundred buffalo graze across the prairie grasses, carefully harvesting plant relatives and then dispersing seeds and nutrients back into the earth. I feel the heartbeat of Hasapa, the Black Hills, in rhythm with my own heartbeat. The pulse of buffalo breathing, bees buzzing, wind moving ponderosa limbs carrying the scent of vanilla bark. A daily reminder that this land was, is, our homeland. Wash Day At first I was frustrated that my Lexi wouldn't define the Lakota word in English. Copacetic, as it should be. Nothing seemed to fit. I've struggled with my identity for most of my life raised away from my community not knowing or living by cultural traditions and practices. My Toonwin has taken me under her wing to teach me these Lakota life ways, to pass them on to my little boys. It took half a lifetime for us to find each other. My ancestors were calling me home. Visiting my aunt and uncle in South Dakota, I learned how to walk in Wolakota and be a good relative. I listened to stories about our family and history. I healed. Cleaned porcupine quills and sorted indigenous seeds from the garden. I learned to bead, smudge, introduce myself in my native tongue, and healed some more. Unsi Hattie used to say, If you were one drop of Lakota, you belong to us. Standing in these grasslands, I reflect on how the buffalo, like our ancestors, survived near extermination. How they too found their way home. Suddenly, buffalo appeared as if they heard our stories and prayers. My uncle looked at me and said, Wash day. And I got it. It isn't something you define, it is something you experience. Being in this place, rooted in this land, belonging to this moment. The animals, the plants, the land are our teachers. The bison represent everything that was taken away. The dislocations and disconnections in my family, within our communities. The Black Hills reconnect us as the Ocheti Shikowin. This land can bring us back together, heal us, heal me. It was on this journey into Hisapa that I found my story, my Lakota identity, my Oyate, love, hope, and embraced Metakwe Oyasin. Yes, we are all related.